biceps. Boom. All right, what's the best exercise for biceps? In my personal opinion, something really simple. It's called the barbell curl. Straight up, straight down. Arm flexion, because that's all the bicep's gonna do. Flexion. Bringing that joint, the elbow joint, up. And that's gonna help build that bulk, but it's also going to build the peak in the bicep because your palms are supinated throughout, and it's being forced to be supinated because it's the straight bar. What is supination? Supination is taking that palm up, supinating it. Just think holding like a soup, a can of soup, something like that, so it won't spill. So supinate the palm up, and that's gonna help activate that peak in that bicep, building those guns. Buff dude, this is simple. It's very simple, and that's what you gotta remember. Don't complicate it. Hammer curls. Next time you're in the gym, think hammer time. It's hammer time. Why are these good? There's two heads of the bicep, long head, short head. The long head of the bicep is gonna hold the bulk of the bicep, the bulk of the muscle. So you can build size, you can build strength. The short head, on the other hand, is gonna build the peak. So if you wanna build the size, you work the long head. You wanna build the peak, you work the short head. Now with alternating dumbbell curls, these are very good for peak and definition. One good thing is you can really focus on that supinating action. Palms up, nice squeeze, really define and increase the peak of the bicep. You can also go pretty heavy on it too. Alternating from side to side, you can also kind of work out any asymmetrical problems in your body, which if one side is stronger than the other, you can really tell when you do alternating dumbbell curls. Concentration curls. Now, if you want the peak builders of all peak builders and those biceps, these are it. One good thing, it's gonna take that shoulder out of the equation, because one thing that can happen when you're doing a dumbbell curl, barbell curl, or even a hammer curl, is when you're curling up, that front delt is gonna raise and gonna help out the bicep. With the concentration curls, however, it takes that deltoid out of the equation. So when you're curling, it's gonna be strictly in the bicep. So now, before we were talking about concentration curls, now we're talking about spider curls. Very similar. This one, you're gonna be lying flat on a bench, with a slight incline, your arms are gonna be dangling in front of you, and you're gonna take a barbell and curl straight up to the forehead. Again, it's gonna involve a little bit of the front delt, but it's really gonna get the incomplete bicep involvement. I hope you learned a thing or two during this video because that's exactly what it was for. Either a proper form, a new exercise, or just the motivation to get in that gym and work those motherfucking guns. I love you.